everyone today i'm going to showcase a new uh deck profile in the past few deck profile videos i made are all like uh, around my own abc's phantom knights cyber dragons or lair of darkness but today i'm going to do something a bit different i'm going to showcase my friends invoked outlet and uh, invoked a uh, dogmatica deck so without further ado let's start start off we have three alistair and invokers this is standard it's like the straddles of the deck Next up, the three uh, Ecclesia. Uh, again, it's like the Straddles, but for the uh, Dogmatica engine. <clears throat> and it has built-in protection from uh, extra deck monsters. <clears throat> yeah, we run the one Maximus, so there's no need to run more than one. And uh, two Fleur de Lis. So yeah, it's like a built-in searchable hand trap for the archetype. Another hand trap is Ash Blossom, which uh, obviously you should know what it does. And Dark Magician and Red Eyes because we run the uh, Dragoon package. Oh, nice. They're all like the gold, new maximum gold rarity. Uh, one ultimate rare terraforming. Very nice. And obviously, we run the three field spell, the uh, Magical Meltdown. This card is similar to Union Hanger. Although I say Union Hanger is a bit better, but this card allows you to search for Alistair the Invoker. And yeah. <coughs> Three uh, invocation, and we can just zoom in on those a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's ultimate rare invocations. <laughs> Three Nadir Servant, okay? Nadir Servant, it's essentially a Rhoda for the uh, Dogmatica engine. And the thing is, it lets you uh, mill cards from your extra deck as well, so that's really uh, helpful because a lot of the cards in your extra deck. Uh, you want to get dump them to the graveyard to get their effects off. So it gives you a double plus, essentially. <laughs> Next up, we have three copies of Forbidden Droplets. This is basically like a spell speed four in the sense that if you play it, your opponent cannot respond. And the best part about this card is that it can even be used in the damage step. And also, it doesn't target. And obviously, to round, round off, uh, we run the one Red Eyes Fusion for the, our Dragoon Engine. So we have three Pot of Prosperity. Again, uh, it helps uh, get to your combo pieces faster. <coughs> One Call by the Grave to deal with those pesky hand traps. And two copies of Triple Tactics Talent to basically uh, uh, give you the versatility to draw more cards or like steal your opponent's monsters or look at your opponent's hand for a forceful sentry. We have three copies of Solemn Strike. And uh, again, these are, we can see the ultimate rare versions. <coughs> yeah, very nice. And then, and finally, three copies of uh, Infinite Impermanence. So what's this? The one on the top is not first edition, although the other two are first ed. <laughs> now for the uh, extra deck, we have Verti Anaconda and the Dragoon, obviously, uh, since we run the Dragoon engine. One Titanic Clad, which we can choose to mill off of our Nadir Servant. And then for the uh, Invoked, we have two Mechaba, one Algodius, and one Purgatrio. Purgatrio. The Purgatrio is really good for essentially going for OT cases. They can attack everything your opponent controls. And sometimes that's enough to like win you the game right there. And then we have the uh, for the Shadows, we have one Construct and one Winda. Winda is like the Floodgate, while well, Construct, it used to be banned, but now it's back. And then uh, finally, for the last Shadow Fusion Monster, we have the App Cologne, which essentially is usually the thing we combo with to search for the Schism. <coughs> and then we have one Secure Gardener and one Salamangre El Mirage. The one thing that people forget is that El Mirage's effect is actually a quick effect, and that if your opponent plays, let's say, a Dark Hole or something, you can tribute El Mirage to protect one of your other monsters, so just bear that in mind. And then for the other utility, we have two Elder, Entis, uh, Elder Entity Untis, which is essentially can pop cards when sent, and also uh, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, which does something similar. Uh, but since both of these are hard ones for turns, it's good to have run uh, both. That way, like if you manage to dump both of these with Maximus, you can uh, banish both. You can essentially uh, pop two cards instead of just one. Now uh, let's get into the uh, side deck. Obviously, starting off three Nibirus because again, like uh, it's really uh, helpful when your opponent spams a huge field and you give them a board wipe off of this one card. <coughs> three artifact Lancia. 
Uh, again, it, if, your, if your opponent these days, most decks, they require banishing, have a lot of banishing effects. So if you play Lancia, they can't even use their effects and they're, they're stalled the turn. And two, uh, Ghost Bell. Uh, it's one of the most underrated hand traps. Essentially, this card does what Ash Blossom would do if you replace the word deck with the word graveyard. And then we have one Pankratops and two Alpha. Personally, like a like I feel like Pang I like Pangratops a bit more because Alpha is not a quick effect. But the good thing about Alpha is that it's kind of like has more. It can get rid like get rid of more monster cards your opponent controls rather than just one from Pankratops. And uh, finally, we have uh, three. Uh, and then we have three Lightning Storms. Notice this one is the uh, Starlight Rare version. And yeah. This is one of those quintessential really good going second cards, and finally one red reboot to deal with the uh, trap cards. So yeah, here we have it uh, for the uh, invoked uh, Dogmatica deck profile. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.